Put your hands upward on your thighs. And I want you to put a white light of the Holy Spirit around you. Now, don't tell me you can't see it. If you can't see it, ask for it. You know what a light looks like. You know what white it looks like. Put it around you. And when you do this, call on your angels. And I swear to you, as it goes deeper, you're going to feel the warmth, or even like some people said, almost the flutter of wings. And then around the white light, I want you to put a gold light. This gold light is a light of enlightenment, higher knowledge. Then around that, a purple light. And this is a light of spirituality. Notice in churches how they always drape everything in purple. The royalty, the high-mindedness of advancing towards our spirituality. Now around all that, an emerald green light, and that's the one we're gonna use and keep all the other lights intact. Before we do that, we're gonna ask all our loved ones who've passed over to come in attendance. We're gonna ask Mother and Father God, and especially our Christ consciousness, to be with us. To center our soul. And all of our grandparents, our children, our mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, anybody who's passed, we invite them to come and be with us. And you'd be surprised that the room begins to fill way beyond the ceilings. This emerald green light, I want you to take it and thread it through the very bottoms of your feet, up through your feet, and if you happen to find anything or you have a chronic pain, and this is not to ever rule out anything that has to do with a physician that you need to see, but chronic pain and preventative. Through your toes, your instep, your arches, around your ankles. And if you have a place that gives you problems, really lather that in green. Because green is healing and growing and rejuvenation. Moving up your calves, your knees, your thighs. Now even the whole pelvic girdle. And moving this green light into the whole reproductive system. Moving in now to the lower, upper and lower intestinal tract, cleansing, threading this emerald green light through the whole intestinal system. Rinsing clean. And as we go, say any negativity we may have absorbed from this life or any past life, be absorbed in this light. Moving now into the liver, gallbladder, pancreas, spleen, then move around to the back to the kidney area. Cleansing, healing. Now while we're back there, let's pay particular attention to what is right above that is the adrenals, giving you energy. It's not just for flight and fright, it's for energy. And while we're back there, let's go down the spinal column from the cervical, top of the cervical nerve endings, all down through the middle section of the back to the lower lumbar, to the coccyx, the tailbone. Strengthening the lifeline of the body. Moving back now around to the heart and the lungs. Heartbeat regular, blood vessels opening, especially to all parts of the body, especially to the lower half of the body, where sometimes it slows down. 
left ventricle, right ventricle, blood pumping normal, blood pressure normal. There's nothing that can lower blood pressure aside from medication like meditation will. Lungs breathing deeply, getting rid of any toxicity. Stomach area, upper and lower. Here's a very good time now to stop and say to yourself, anything that I'm taking into my body that is harmful to me, overeating, over drinking, smoking, pills, anything that I'm doing to excess, it's almost as if I never did it, I'm gonna rip it from my memory, it doesn't exist. I don't need it anymore. I don't need those crutches to keep me going. I'm not talking about medication your doctor has given you for insulin, whatever. I'm talking about people who abuse. Moving now through the trachea, the larynx, down through the shoulders, and especially pay attention to your neck because we all carry so much pressure. Neck shoulders, upper arms, lower arms, hands, fingertips, around the face, even in the teeth area, gums. Moving into the sinus cavity, eyes, ears, it's almost like nose, throat. Now move into the mind area, not just the mind, but the physical form of the brain and say to yourself, from this moment on, I want my intellect and emotion to be cemented together. In other words, your emotion is marvelous, but it also can become the culprit. Because when emotion inundates intellect, you're just into anxiety. So I will be a tube by which this now tube of silver light comes right down through the very top of my head to my toes and I will carry this cylinder of light with me as a column not only that but wherever I go from this moment on I can plant these silver columns of light if I have a negative boss if I have a negative spouse if I have a negative child, whatever, I can plant a silver column. And actually, it does more than even the white light of the Holy Spirit. Even if you're in a negative situation, when I get in the car, I, I always put a silver column in my car. It reproduces itself, and you don't lose it. See, that's why the monks used to shave their head, because they thought that they would get more infusion. And as this column of light goes through your body, it sends off these beautiful sparks from God. Like a little pinball that hits all the affected areas and especially lighting up all the dark areas of your mind where you carry all of this stuff. All these caverns that you haven't opened, illuminate them. Open yourself up to your God Center and your knowledge. Say, I am a seeker of knowledge. My knowledge is for me. I am a temple of God. And no one can ever take that away from me. I'm in control of me. All of a sudden now you see yourself in a meadow. The women have on very flowing garments and you're barefoot. The men have robes on, very much like our Lord wore, and barefoot. We feel the grass against our legs, the sun on our face, the wind on our face. And we feel so young, so rejuvenated. The field is green, rolling. All of a sudden in front of us, though, begins to form large, ugly, brown 
blocks. One says phobias. The other says illnesses. The other one says insecurity. Another one may say rejection. Aside from poor self-esteem, all those fears, phobias, insecurities, feelings of not being good enough, let them stack up. You'd be surprised when you begin to release them, how many you have. Not just the fears, but all those insecurities. Feeling that you were bad, that you didn't do enough good, that you didn't do enough forgiveness, that you weren't a better person. Stop that. But let them pile up anyway. Because they're part of this stuff, the behavioral overlays we carry with us that are so heavy. All of a sudden it dawns on you, almost instinctive knowledge, you reach inside and you grab a hold of part of this tube. And amazingly enough, it's malleable. It almost is like a snowball. And yet the tube goes right back to its original form. Now you take this, which is part of your essence from you and God, and you throw it at these blocks. At first, nothing happens. Let's face it, you've carried these. Past life things, everything. You reach in again. You pull out more and you form a ball and you throw it. Still, it seems like nothing happens, but you're determined because you're tired of all this. The depression, the despair, the tiredness, the futility. So you reach in again with vehemence and you throw and you throw again and again and again. Was that a crack I heard? Yes, you heard it too. Now with renewed vigor, you push in, grab a large bit, roll it in your hands and you throw it and all of a sudden with a loud rumble, all of those blocks of despair and futility and tiredness and illness come crashing down. It's all they were, were blocks that you formed, you made. And you walk over and you notice that it's nothing but dust now. Those big, ominous, jagged looking blocks are reduced to nothing but just ashes and all of a sudden a bit of wind comes and blows them away. And then you're aware of the flowers that begin to spring up. So you, like the phoenix, rises out of the ashes, feeling so much better, so much more healed, so much more alive, so much more blessed by God, so much more unique in God's eyes, always forgiven by God, always known by God. Now begin to bring yourself back to yourself, keeping your silver cylinder. Don't lose it. You can't. You can ask for it. It'll stay with you. And this time, when you bring the green light up again, you're going to rejuvenate yourself. Bring it up very quickly, up through your feet, your ankles, your calves, your knees, your thighs, and any place you might have missed. And pay particular attention to your chakras, which are the pancreas, the pituitary, the pineal, the thyroid. Write down the meridian of the body even into the reproductive system. All up through the whole trunk of the body, down through the shoulders, the upper arms, the lower arms, the hands, the fingertips, up through the neck, around the neck, front of the neck, the mouth, the nose, the eyes, the forehead, and behind the eyes and the last vestiges of any negativity you're carrying, let it be absorbed. 
never, ever to come back again to haunt you. That God loves you. That God knows, like I said, your name. Our Lord said every hair on your head is numbered, and it is. Which he meant knows everything about you and loves you still. On the count of three, bring yourself up, all the way up, feeling absolutely marvelous, better than you've ever felt before. One, two, three.